The Nintendo Switch turned four years old recently. For some reason, I have purchased about four of them. This is number four. And for some reason, I keep selling them. Actually, not some reason, it's, I don't ever play them. I had no reason to really play. No, the one that I kept the longest was when COVID first came out, Animal Crossing. This one though, I'm determined to keep. And I'm determined to keep it by painting it. And I figured if I paint it, there's no way for me to get rid of it. I'm gonna keep it. I won't be painting this at all. What I'm gonna be painting is lay dock. So the dock is, you plug it in, right? It's got a power source, it's got an HDMI cord, and you plug it in, you hook this up to the TV, you slide the switch into the dock, and it hooks up to the TV. You take it out of the dock, and it plays in handheld mode. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disassemble this thing, and then I'm gonna take all the, the components out, like, right, I'm gonna take all the electrical parts out, and then I'm gonna spray paint it, and then I'm gonna custom paint the dock. Let's get into it. Okay, this thing seems simple enough to disassemble without any sort of instruction. So I'm gonna try and take it apart almost by myself. I know. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, all right. I'm thinking, I'm predicting that it's only got like two screws holding the, the electrical portions. It seems very similar to the way you put a motherboard in to a computer when you build one. Ooh yeah. And there it is. So this is being held by clips. Literally nothing but a clip. Whoa. Awesome. Okay, and I do see this here. Yes. There she is. So all of this, just like this. Let's go paint this thing. Alright, so I usually use this satin Rust-Oleum that you can get from Walmart, but I'm actually gonna try this gold gold spray paint. Never used it before. So we're gonna try it out today. Oh! Oh! Let the painting begin. I went ahead and chose to paint the box art for the new Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening for the Switch. And granted, I have never played this game, and to be frank, to be honest, I've only ever beaten one Zelda game, the Phantom Hourglass for the DS. But I love the idea, the concept, of Zelda, of Link. His character design is really cool, and to be honest, the very first person who ever inspired me to do art was a friend of mine, his name is Austin, and he would come to school in like the fourth, fifth grade, and he had drawn Zelda, I'm sorry, he would have drawn Link with the sword and the shield and the cool pose, and that right there drove me to to paint, to make art. And so this is kind of like an homage to him and to that memory and to Zelda.
Hey, let's go. Yeah. That's the video. And thank you for watching. Man, my, my technology, my custom painted tech is starting to grow. My little collection, you know? Remember my, my Game Boy? The custom Game Boy? And then my MacBook, right? Remember this? Yeah, so I'm, I'm having so much fun. This has become like a little trendy thing for me to just custom paint anything and everything is just up for grabs as far as customization, as far as whatever, nostalgia, whether it be something I'm using on the daily, it doesn't actually matter. I'm gonna try and paint it. What's the next thing I should paint on? It could be anything, except for my car maybe. Might not do that. I wanna take a second to genuinely say thank you for the people who watch, for the people who enjoy my content. And also, I wanna bring a small message. And I even wrote it down. I've been writing down, I've been brainstorming of like, why am I even doing a YouTube video? Why are you making YouTube videos? Why do you wanna make a living with art? Why do you never wanna to return to a nine to five? And some of the big things is like, why do I do this? It's, it's become, you know, at first it started with like, I want to leave my nine to five and never return. It was as simple as that. It's like, I want to work for my own myself because I don't do well building other people's dreams. I want to build my own as as simple as it was. And that still remains true today, but it's kind of added. It's become less selfish and more driven by you guys, by people that watch me. So as far as why do I make YouTube videos, it's to inspire, encourage, and encourage creative individuals to embrace these creations. What you make is amazing. Whether it's good or not in your eyes, whether other people look at you and laugh at you, it's good, it's amazing. You should share it. You should continue to do so. And you should embrace that. You should be proud of the things that you're proud of, right? People laughed at me in the beginning and now guess what, they're buying my hoodie. Hey now, hey, right? Another one is to help others see potential in themselves, right? Like my, looking back 10 years ago when I was in high school, my self-esteem was in the trash can. Like I had no self-esteem, I had body image issues, I had like self-value issues, it was just, I felt worthless, you know? And if you look back at it, like I was on the football team, I was on the baseball team, I was actually like shredded, my body was just torn to pieces, like just, abs, everything, you know, the whole shebang. And like, I was a, uh, I was an attractive kid and all, and I got attention from people. I was a social person, I was nice, but for some reason I just felt like I wasn't adequate. Like for some reason, I don't know. But I just wanna like inspire other people who are feeling that way that you're not. Like me, I have so many things going for me and art is one little tiny part of it, but it's my favorite part, you know? And like some people, don't care about that and that's fine. I'm just gonna keep showing anyway, you know? Uh, I wanna help others improve their self-esteem, right? So like, learn how to, if there's something that you can't change, let that go. But if you can change it, your hair, your face, I don't like my whatever, I don't like the clothes that I wear, buy new clothes, customize stuff, like do things that you like and your self-esteem will improve. Become more social, like force yourself into a situation that you're uncomfortable in, right? I have a hard time hitting on women. Like if I find someone very attractive, I have a hard time walking up to them and going, yo, you're actually really attractive. <laughs> so I, I force myself to do that and it's still painfully awkward for me to do. So I'm getting better. <laughs> uh, and the last thing I wrote was encourage people to be curious and try new things. I claim myself to be an artist, but I also like collect pins and like to sew them. Um, you know, I, I sewed this little, the three X's, rest in peace, XXX Tentacion, right? So drawing with a Sharpie, painting with acrylic on a piece of wood, right? Painting on a $300 gaming console, right? Painting on just things, like doing, experimenting. I cut my own hair, like I stretch my ears, I try things, I make, I, I love woodworking. I'm sitting on a stool, actually, it's made out of, it's made out of wood out of a couple of pieces of scrap wood. So try 
new things. You're not limited to one or two or three or ten or a hundred things. You, you try things and change your mind if you want to. And that's the message, right? <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. This is the Hunt Studio. I'm going to cut over to me. If you stayed this long, I opened up a package and I want you to watch me open up this package. It's really special to me. See ya. I bought a t-shirt from an artist. Her name is Mary June, and you can find her on Instagram right here. First off, I want to look at this packaging. That is insane. Like, she has a piece of her art printed on the thing. This is what I ordered. Wow. She's doing a series of shirts where it's shading techniques, right? Very cool. And I got it in this. This is a really nice t-shirt. This is a very, very nice t-shirt. What's it say on the, on the sleeve? Shading techniques. Very, very cool. I got a button, right? A cool button. This is awesome. Yes. Yes. This, I've watched her, I watched her make, you know, I've, I've been watching her on Instagram a lot, and I saw these little notebooks, these little journals. This might even be a sketchbook. It's probably going to get used as a sketchbook for this. Oh, man. Oh, man, I love this. This is insane. Wow. This is her coffee coffee series pocket edition very cool very cool and a nice little note super cool support your favorite artists people support your artists buy stuff from them